today's adventure brings us to Adatash Mountain. We will be going to the summit and then continuing on to Little Adatash. At number 73 on our Hampshire Fire Tower list of the 93 towers that are standing once stood all were proposed. We're joined today by our friends John and Elaine and we are headed up the access road right now. All right, looking for the best way to access the top of Adatash. Nope. Nope, this ain't the way. Sharon Lane working their way up the slope. As I go down and pan up, we got a view. Should look nice coming down. Chalice are running, but unlike Brenton Woods, they're not free. Hint, hint. I'm tilting the camera. Just give you an idea of the angle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little steep here though. So uh, we're continuing to go up and it is steep. And as we get up to this spot, we may, have, right. we may have to make a decision and take a right. <laughs> All right, moving on. That's what we just came from. Now we find ourselves on what looks like it could be an access road. Our ski slope. So we'll pull out little maps out that they gave us and see where we are. This is a little bit more like it, but <laughs> we're still gonna have to go up. In a straight line, we have about one mile till we get to Little Appetash. So the trail that we're following is also a mountain biking trail. And as they're coming down, check out, if you got speed going, you're still gonna make it. I cannot believe that. Sean and I used to mountain bike. We thought we were extreme. Eh, obviously we weren't, but we are on the bridge going over the toboggan run. Looks like they got a lot of fun stuff to do here. Okay, we're up 1,375 feet. Doesn't seem like we're that far though. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's 1,375 feet. Go get him. I'm trying to just show you the angle. It is steep right here. I'm going down. Of course, we're not going down. We're going up. It's a moderate trail. It was between this and a black diamond. We'll take the moderate. Anyone interested? We are on the tightrope trail. As you can see, pay no attention to the wideness of the slope. We're actually on a tightrope. That's what it's called. <laughs> this looks like you're leaning forward, or is it really that steep? <laughs> It's really that steep. <laughs> yeah, it's a little on the steep side. But it is a black diamond. Sharna Lane working their way up the end of the black diamond. So I go out. Spare peak. <laughs> hey, you did good. There you go. John's doing it the hard way. I came all the way up like this, trust me. <laughs> Very nice. Well, if that was a fire tower, we would be here. But that is just an observation tower at the top of the ski lift. There you are, John's working her way up. All right, so right there is an old friend, Iron Mountain. Those ledges, those would be the seven ledges. And the mine's in there too. These up here are out oh, hazy. Right, go this way. So, it, you really can't see much at all with the haze. And in case you're wondering where Adatash gets its name from, Moses Sweetster. He named it in his white mountain guy for the Indian name meaning blueberries that grow on mountain slopes. Walking up ski slopes are not fun. That's our destination. A little out of tash. There's John. There's Cheryl. They're almost tripped. <laughs> so I can't zoom in a little. Like I said, those the mountains that are further out are hazy as anything. I really need to clean the viewfinder too. That would probably help me see them. All right, so we found what appears to be a trail that will hopefully lead us close to little out of touch. So we have found the old trail, it looks like. It is blazed in, well, dull red paint. Mother Nature's reclaiming it, but we can still follow it. 
Alright, so there's one of the blazes. A little longer than the normal ones, but you know what? Doesn't matter. This trail may be unmaintained, but it's very, very nice. It's a trail. Mother Nature's taking back over, but it's really cool in here. Yeah, so getting out to the summit is not fun. It's pretty dense in here. We're on our way. So on a bushwhack, we made it up to some ledge. And now look, it's still very, very hazy out there. This is the view that we're seeing. All right, my compadres are standing on the summit. <laughs> no way they were putting a fire tower up there. No. It'd have to be an itty bitty one. A tiny one. All right, so we're on the summit. And as I said, there was no fire tower gonna be placed where I'm standing. But in the area, it was only temporary. They did have one with a helo pad. But it was uh, the mid 70s when a lot of logging was going on. And so it was used to watch over the area. Wasn't used too, too long. So it's a heck of a hike up here. After the ski area, there's a somewhat trail, but it only gets you to within 0.15 of where we are right now. So we've hit every bump, nook and cranny up here. So we're pretty sure that we've got this one in the bag. All right, Cheryl is on the top of Little Attach doing her summit post. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right, there are artifacts up here, and we have found them proof that it did exist. Because why else would this be up here? <laughs> All right. It's the helo pad. It's the helo pad. And we found the canister, but I'm in real tight because I can't tell you where it is. All right, so Cheryl's signing in the login for the canister. The only sign in up here are John and Elaine, who came up with us. Charlie and Nancy. And then Nate, who actually put the canister up here. So, there's plenty of empty paperwork if you're interested. And our view coming down. I hope it's not as hazy as it looks in the viewfinder. Right, the view is really great. All right, so we're back down. It was successful. We found a canister. We found the summit. We even found artifacts from the um, fire tower that was up there. Number 73 in the bag. Great time with our friends, John and Elaine. They're gonna follow us. We're going back down to the abandoned passenger cars. That video's already up. So, until our next adventure, the end. <laughs>